Chosen Vessels, what's the deal? It's your main man, Drew Tube, and I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it. Shout out to the vessels. Hit that like button. Hit that share button. Don't forget to subscribe. Release and forgive those who do you wrong. So that way you can heal and move on, not receiving bad energy over them. You don't want to receive bad energy when dealing with people best thing you can do is to release them when people can make you angry and make you mad and upset and cause you to focus on them to where they're your only focus it's not going to end well for you because you're the one who's holding on to all that toxicity. You could be holding on to love for yourself. You could be holding on to love from God. It's best to release and forgive. Holding on can do a lot of damage. Holding on to things that no longer serve us. Holding on to things that no longer are worthwhile for us. Holding on to things that are holding us back. Holding on to things that are making it impossible for you to move forward. You are going to have to release and forgive. Because holding on does a lot more damage than letting go. People are afraid to let go. They like what's familiar. They like familiar, familiar, familiarity, arity, whichever one. They like what's familiar to them. And when things begin to get unfamiliar, that's when you're getting out of your comfort zone. People are afraid to let go. Even when it comes down to something that's already over with. People are used to the, the negative stories contemplating over them over and over again in their mind. People are used to that. People are more content with having something to complain about having something negative to worry about, to focus on instead of the good, instead of putting their mind where it needs to be. And releasing and forgiving is the only way to do that. It's best to just release it because if you it, just think about it, like if you hold on to something that someone did, it's only going to make, it's only going to make you worse. People are out there living their best life. People are out enjoying themselves, you know, taking care of themselves, doing things that make them happy. And you're stuck when you hold on to something someone did wrong. That's the worst thing a person can do is hold on to something. When you hold on to it, you're keeping it alive. You're keeping it real. You're replaying the same story in your mind over and over and over again. And all that does is cause you to be more sad. That's all it's going to do. It's going to cause you to be more depressed because it's going to make you focus on things that you don't want, that you didn't want, that right now in the present moment, you have no control over it. So why let it get you bent out of shape anyway? Things happen. And there's just no way of changing things once they already take place. It makes no difference. Doesn't matter what you could have done or should have done or would have done. At that point, it's over with. I watched two crows the other day 
fight over some food. They were one was holding the other one down and the other was holding the other one down and they were giving it to each other. Then afterwards, they both got up, got up from underneath each other. And they just just stood near each other for a minute like it was just over and done with. They went about their day. They got it over with, got it out the way, and they just went off and lived their life. It didn't, it didn't stop them from flying. It didn't stop them from trying. It didn't stop them from moving. Those are birds, Drew. What do you expect? How are we different than the birds? And you can, you can learn a lot from nature. Like if, if, if you are observant and you're able to learn things from what you see around you, you could pick up a lot from animals and you should be picking up a lot from animals and learning from animals, especially crows, one of the smartest birds. Crows are like the, I think they're either one of the smartest birds or the smartest bird, but either way, I learned something that day when I saw those two crows duke it out and then just get up like it was nothing and just fly off and just focus back on their life. I said, ah, I said, that's it right there. No matter what happens, you get back up, dust yourself off and you go back and you live your life and you focus on yourself. If that, if that crow was to focus on that other crow instead of living its life and finding a mate and going back to its nest and, foraging for food it, it would focus on that other crow instead what type of life would that be but see their brains whether their brains are too small and it's an animal so they're animalistic and they don't have that they don't have the capacity to think that far but they probably do because a lot of yo know, crows can recognize faces they could say yo know, crows can talk like they could say your names and stuff like that. So, you know, crows reckon they're able to remember faces. They're able to speak. <laughs> they're able to say your name. Not only are they able to speak, they're able to communicate. You could teach crows to communicate. Very intelligent bird. But it goes to show you why stop living your life and focusing on all the things you can do for yourself by putting your, your energy and to anger, you have to think about that. Where is my energy flowing to? Where is my energy going to? Especially if it's something in the past. You're, it's something in the past that we continue to focus on that's only going to make us more mad and more upset and not do a darn thing for our present, which is in control of our future. Your present di dictates your future. If you're mad and upset in the present, your future is going to be you being mad and upset in the future. But the present is the future. Time keeps going. You keep moving forward more being in the present moment. So release and forgive because you don't want to, to spend any time wasting your, your precious time on something that someone did wrong you sh you should be able to find it in yourself and you should you should want to get over that and you should want to let that go all right people are are moving on and the thing that the, the jacked up thing about it is is like they want you to be mad and they want you to be upset because it gives them something to focus on instead of their miserable life it gives them something to focus on other than the things that are making them unhappy. You know that they are unhappy and somebody else's misery makes them feel better about their lonely life. So release and forgive these lonely, dark spirits. Release these people. Don't allow them to have power over your life way after something has already taken place and has already happened. You have the power to decide where your energy goes. You have the power to decide what's important to you. So if you have the power to decide where your energy goes and what's important to you, shouldn't you put point your focus in another direction? 
Shouldn't you put your mind on something else, something that will serve you, something that's more positive, something that will allow you to even look past what they did, get over what they did, be happy about yourself and focus on what's presently, currently happening in front of your face? The more you think about things that you don't like and that happened and that you don't want is the longer you're going to be stuck there and held back in that dimension. There are a lot of things that happen in life that aren't good, that aren't right. But the thing that you have to realize that no psychologist will tell you or can help you with that no preacher, no nobody can help you with until you choose to get over things. No psychologist, no preacher, no church, no self-help coach, no video, except this one. Because I'm giving it to you raw and real. You're going to have to get over it. It wasn't right. It wasn't good. You're going to have to get over mama. You're going to have to get over brother. You're going to have to get over sister. You're going to have to get over auntie, cousin. Uh, You're going to have to get over that job. You're going to have to get over everybody. You're going to have to get over whoever. There are a lot of things that you're going to have to get over in order for you to release and forgive. Because that is the, the, the present moment is peace. The present moment is forgiveness. The present moment is releasing all the bad things that are damaging your heart, damaging your spirit, damaging your soul, damaging your eyes, stressing you out, drying out your organs from the cortisol, which is nothing but just salt, 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 just stressing you out, causing you to have high blood pressure. You want to be healthy. And in order to be healthy physically, not just what you put in your body, but also, my people, what you put in your mind. What you put in your mind has a huge impact over your overall physical health. Your mental health has a huge impact over your overall physical health. You're going to want to be healthy mentally. All right. That way you could be healthy spiritually. When you're spiritually holding on to something that is no good for you, you could become, you could stand a chance of becoming corrupt because you're holding on to it, putting all this energy into it. Something's going to happen. You're either going to cause yourself some type of uh, collapse, some type of uh, brain injury, or sh- like you're going to stress yourself into oblivion, or you're going to go out and act on how you feel and cause. Uh, cause a calamity for your own life over something someone did when it's best to just let it go and let them go and just let God handle it. Those who do you wrong have a, have, have, have a special date and time to get it back. Trust and believe that what you have to do in the meantime is be cheerful despite the hatred they tried to fill your heart with. And it's a, it's a lot of hate there for people who do you wrong. People who betray you because you did, they were the last ones that you would suspect them of doing that. And they, they really take your trust and they throw it in the mud. They, they really take the love you had for them and they, they destroy it. And it's like, yo, my trust, the love I have for you, my faith in you, other than what I had in myself, I could have been putting that in myself. I could have been using that time and energy for me. I could have been taking care of me. I could have been doing for me. I could have been around some more positive people. All that will take place in your mind and it makes you mad. It makes you upset. But the thing is, all that is in the past. And even if it just happened yesterday, you want to be able to pretend, even if you have to lie to yourself, even if you want to, even if you have to fool yourself, even if you have to manipulate yourself into believing that everything is okay, everything is all right, 
I'm going to I'm going to be just fine. Even if you got to do it through tears. Even even, even if you got to do it through pain. All right, it's going to pass and you're you're going to feel good again. You're going to feel happy again. You're going to be able to smile again. Now, I know you got a nice smile. <laughs> All right. So release and forgive. Don't allow what happened to stop you from living your life. And it stops you from living your life because you allow it to get in the way of your good feelings. You allow it to get in the way of you feeling good, you welcoming new things, welcoming better things. And that's another thing. When you don't release and forgive, you're holding on to it, which is communicating to the universe that this is an okay experience for me. I would prefer if more things like this that could make me feel like this and communicate like this through my energy and my thoughts and what I'm feeling. Let's have some more of it. Bring on some more of it. I'm not done feeling like this. But when you redirect your thoughts and your attention and your focus on things that you do want, on things that will make you feel good, make you feel better, put a smile on your face, put that that lust for life right back into you, that excitement for life right back into you. You, you get back to feeling good. Everything's going to be OK. You may need to take a picture of yourself, look at your old self, and you may need to write yourself a letter. You may need to say goodbye to that person that you once were. You may you may need to say goodbye to that person because a lot of issues that people are having is they're trying to still be that same person that has to let go, that has to release, that has to forgive. But it's, it's you're not that person anymore because you've been changed. You've been changed into a new and better person. You have to let go of that person that they damaged. You have to let go of that person that they broke because you you healed from that and you're healing from that and you're no longer that person. I know it hurts and I know it, it it's it's painful, but you're going to have to let go of the person that they damaged, that they broke because they didn't break you. They didn't break your spirit. You just have to let go of that idea about yourself because you're not that person. You're not what they did to you. You're someone so much better and so much greater. So you, it's, it's best for you to release that because why, holding on to that is holding on to all the, all the pain. It's holding on to all the trauma. It's holding on to all the drama. It's holding on to everything that is only going to push you back into that reality, which you never wanted to enter into into the first place. Release and forgive. You don't want to keep receiving bad energy over them. You want to be able to heal and move on. When you hold on to them, when you hold on to what they did, when you hold on to the, the negative energy, it's only causing you to feel bad and feel worse. There's a better there's a better attitude out there for you. There's better feelings out there for you. There's better energy out there for you. There's even better people out there for you. You have to release and forgive. They're not really worth it. They're not worth the trouble. They're not worth the pain. Just because they did something, you're going to hold on to them and pour out all that energy to them. Pour out all that to God. Let God know, God, shh, I'm going through it. I'm, I'm feeling some kind of way, but I know you're here in my life right now. I know you can overcome me and, and change how I feel. I know you can allow me to let this go. I know you can heal me. I know you can help me keep my mind on more positive things. I know you can help me keep my focus on where it needs to be, on what, on what it needs to be on. I know that you can allow me to have a better mindset, a better attitude, a better outlook. These people tried to damage me 
They tried to damage my mind, body, and soul and tried to break me down to the smallest molecule, but I'm still here. I'm still standing. I'm still still working on myself. So Lord, if you could just allow me to let go, if you could allow me to release this, this negativity, if you can allow me to forgive these people because it's for me and it's not for them, I don't have to let them know. I don't have to forgive them to their face. All I have to do is forgive them within me and my own spirit. So that way I don't have to keep being chased down and haunted by this evil that they tried to bring into my life. And this is why it's extremely important to release and forgive. You're holding on to the demons that belong to someone else. That's why you have to release and forgive. You're holding on to a demon and demons that belong to someone else. Release and forgive. Let these people go. Let these demons go. Let what they did go. You have to get over it. And you have to tell yourself to get over it. I'm going, I have to get over it, get over it, get over it. Even if you just repeat that to yourself or write it down a hundred times or write it down 10 times every morning or every time you think about it, every time you get in your thoughts, every time you get deep in thought, you get in your head, these, these negative emotions or feelings start to try to attack you from what this person did because you haven't let it go yet. That's the perfect time. Let get over it, get over it, get over it, get over it. Pray to God, ask him to help you get over it. See yourself as the one that's healed. See yourself being 100% better, 100% fixed, 100% not who you used to be, not the person who they tried to destroy. Don't see yourself as that person. And it, 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 it sounds harsh because it's like, yo, that's me. That's a part of you. That's no longer a part of you. So you got to let it go. You got to let that version of yourself go because now you're someone that's so much stronger, someone that's that's better, someone that's more equipped with with um more resiliency, more power. All right, you're you're way stronger now and you're a, you're a new person. You have to focus on the new you and instead of pouring out anger towards what someone did to you, you're going to have to pour in all that love into the new you. You're going to have to pour all that love into the new you because that's who you are now. And once you let go of that version of yourself, you're not going to be bringing that pain into the new you. You're not going to be bringing that past pain into the present. When you when you unwrap your present moment, when you unwrap your gifts, you shouldn't see pain in it. It's not called pain. It's called the present moment. And there is pain in life, but you deal with it by letting it go. You deal with it by releasing things you have no power over, things you have no control over, things you can no longer change. But you don't have to remain that same person. You can be someone else still being you. You're just not the person that they tried to destroy. That destruction, that dark energy, that person that they created, let that go. Let that go and you 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 were you were you be the one that God created. Okay, look at God. You be the one that God created, not the one that they created. The person that they created is full of hate. The person that they created is, is full of hatred and hatred. That's who they created. That's what they wanted to see for you. They tried to create a reality for you to where your life was full of pain, hate, and darkness. You have to let them go. You have to let that version of you go that they created. And you have to, to be able to move forward and pour love into the new you. Pour that love into the one that God created, not the one that they created. You don't want to receive any more bad energy over them. You don't want that. That stuff is done and over with. But you aren't. This is this is only the beginning for you. Things are only going to get better for you. Things are only going to, to improve for you. So release that bad energy. 
All right. Forgive those people. Forgive them. You know, it's it's the best you can do for you. Just forgive them. They're sorry. They're pitiful. You may feel that they're worthless, but you want to let all that go. And you want the, the true success is being able to look at the people who wanted to do you the worst possible way and being able to have love for them and forgive them, even if it's from a distance. That way you're not holding on to, to there's no there's no link. When you, when you release and let go, you cut the cord, all right? There's energy cords connecting you to everyone that you've ever met or had experiences with. There's even cords connecting you to people that you don't even know. So the one thing that's best to do is let go, cleanse your aura, clean your aura. You can run your hand over your body, like around your arms, back, shoulders, legs. It cuts energy cords, like how I just did that, how I just did that. It cuts energy cords. You may have a headache. You may have a a, a migraine because of it, it, and it could possibly be because of an energy cord, a connection you have to someone that's and it's stressing you out, or it's something deep within your mind that has to be released or let go. Meditation helps as well if you're trying to release and let go. If if you don't see yourself being able to let go, if it's like I tried to let go, I tried this, I tried to. You have to meditate and visualize and look within your mind's eye and see yourself as the healed version of you. See yourself as someone that is not plagued by this event. See yourself as someone that's not plagued by these these people that tried to destroy you. See yourself as the one that's healed in God's image. See yourself as the one that touched the, the hem of his garment. Touch the hem of his garment and you shall be healed. I was healed. All right. You have to get closer to God and not get closer to the devil, not get closer to the evil, not get closer to the past. Because God's in the present. Life is in the present. And this is why you want to be like water. Water's always moving. Water's always forever flowing. And you need to be this. You need to be the same way with your energy, always moving, always forever flowing. When you're um, stuck in resentment and hate and negativity, it keeps you stagnant, like a, a pot, like pond water. You know how you walk past a retention pond. You're taking a walk in the woods, and you smell like this this water just decaying and all these leaves and dead twigs and possibly even some dead animals or some, you know, some fecal matter up in there. And you walk past it and it's just like, whoa, you know, like spiritually, that's what our energy does when we hold on to things that are no longer serving us. We're in there. And what do they call it? This person is in a funk. Oh, they're in a funk. Oh, I was in a funk. Because they got a funky attitude, a stinky attitude because of some stinky people. And you don't want, and energy is transferable. People rub off on you. Thoughts and images of people and looking at them from the worst they could possibly be is only going to keep you upset. And it's only going to damage you more when you look at someone in your mind and have hate for them in your heart. It's only going to make things worse for you, and it's only going to cause you to have a a more horrific life. All right? So, So your energy can get cleansed, and you can get cleansed, and you can have a spiritual cleansing. You can have a spiritual purging. You're going to want to bless people and wish them the best and let them go and have love for them and keep your mind on the good things that are happening in your life because if not, you're going to be trapped mentally. And you're going to be held back mentally, which is going to uh, uh, cause you to have all these physical occurrences that you don't want. You know, all these things physically to happen that you don't want. Where your attention goes, your energy flows. So you want your attention to flow back into pouring love into the person that God created. Not the person that they created. The person that they created, they wanted you to be just like them. They wanted you to be broken, hurt distraught, destroyed everything, everything thereof, everything thereafter. That's what they wanted. 
but you don't have to be that because you're choosing not to be that. You are now making a conscious choice. You are now making a conscious decision to let go of all that mess, to get let go of all that stuff. And I'd like to tell you happy new year because the new year starts when you get over. Happy new year. Live your best life. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Release, let go of all that toxic negative energy. Play this video over as many times as you need. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace, love, and light. Shout out to the Galactic Family, the GCVs, and of course, Drew Nation. Peace, love, and light.